Alrighty, hello, hello. <laughs> And turn down the volume just a little bit. It's very loud. For me. I still have a lot to do at the guild. How about you take a rest while I go back? I don't even know if you guys can hear me over this, but it should be okay. Uh Brace yourselves! Yes. Allow me! Fast like fuck! I had to log out. But when I did, that's why I keep pressing the wrong things. Okay. Because when I did log out, all of my settings and key bindings, they all got changed. So give me just a sec. Guess we can rest a bit. Lesson. We 
bastard. Watch your step. I need to train harder. Let me try my blade. Life goes on. By royal decree! Have for me!
got everything I wanted out of these, so I don't really need to go back. Infiltration. What's the difference? Is there any difference for me? Identify the difference between the two things. Frozen. Oz, reveal the horse. Send this quickly. I got it. Nikolai Phantasmagoria. It is a time for my work. This is insane. You can't run. Verdict is? Don't be a killjoy! We've oh. only just begun! No. Uh -huh. Just like I <laughs> went too far!
of me. Fortune preserve. Wait, hear me. Ugh, barely a scratch. Shadow Raven, let night fall. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Faster. I trust you slept well. Sort of. Sounds I like the same well. story for everyone. I got up first today, so I took a walk around and picked I some fruits for our breakfast. I would wake up at like 5 or 4 a.m. every morning. This was because, just because when you go to bed, he... And Paimon's been waiting for you to get up so she can finally dig in! It's not, even, it's not like it's Christmas. Up to start opening presents, start eating. It's fine. I'd rather sleep in. Huh? Fisher left? First thing in the morning? That doesn't sound right. Yeah, she seemed unwilling to stay with us. She said she had some other work to do for the Adventurers Guild. What? A likely story. What happened to coming here to restore the glory of the Immernachtreich? Now she has guild work that to do all of a sudden? That was a good pronunciation right there. Immernachtreich. At the end, that was good pronunciation. Good job. Judging by that look on her face, there was probably something on her mind. We tried sending Mona to comfort her like before, but she said Mona doesn't understand the work of the Adventurers Guild and can't go with her. She didn't even make up some excuse about the Immer Nachtreich to get some time alone? Huh. That's out of character for her. Then she must be feeling quite troubled. I'd love to help her as a friend, but she was right about one thing. We're going to explore another island today. Yep. Votes are in. It's unanimous. Oh, yeah, about that. Pamon went ahead and voted for you. She said since you're always together, her opinion counts as yours and vice versa. <laughs> well, you're an adventurer after all. Paimon knew you'd want to go exploring. Fischl said there's something she wants to investigate and suggested that we all go ahead in the meantime. She told me not to worry, she'll catch up with us when she's done. Despite her quirks, she's still an experienced adventurer. I think we should trust her. I haven't known her for long, so this is just an observation, but it seems like she's struggling with some internal conflict. Hmm. That seems about right. In conflict with others, you either resolve it or let it be. But when the conflict is within yourself, it's much harder to do either. I've also had a time like that in my life, so I understand what she's going through. 
it may be best to give her some space. I agree. Still, it's a pity for today's adventure. Adventuring is always more fun when everyone's together. Xinyan always has great team spirit. Oh, one other thing. This morning, we saw a mirage on the island in the north. We can go take a look once you're done with your breakfast, Traveler. Impact that I have this island looks pretty normal. I smell something burning on the wind. Uh, my sky glass is getting clearer, but I still can't see much. Hey, look what I found! It's a well, is it a drum or a plant? An instrument made of a plant? Xinyan, do you think this could be your island? Made of oh, you mean this instrument could have been put here just for me? Okay, let me give it a try. That sounds... Uh, hold on. When I touched the rock garden in the bonsai yesterday, we were all transported to another space. Xinyan, do you want to take some time first to get ready? Well, you're right, but it's all good. I'm always ready to make some music. Paimon, are you okay? Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Just as we thought. We've been sent to another place. Mm -hmm. oh, why does this place feel so bleak? Xinyan, are you sure this is your mirage? I think so, yeah, but you're right. Why is it so bleak here? Look, there's something really bright over there. It's almost like it's inviting us to go check it out. Okay. Let's go have a look. Wait, wait, wait! This is too obvious! Surely it's gotta be a trap! Bruh. Why would Alice that well may be, but the there's the also shows. nowhere else... If this, this mirage trap, belongs to Xinyan, I don't think we'll find any traps here. Yeah, I don't think there's... Now you're talking! You know that wouldn't be my... Hmm. That makes sense. Uh, all right, let's go then. But let's all... Fuck off. Being careful pussies. Angle
so turn, turn something, something off real quick. quick. The door is locked. All right. All right, all right. Let's get in there. Uh, yeah. Keep your nonsense to yourself. Thank you very nonsense. much. What do you mean nonsense? It's perfectly valuable. Shinyan? Why did you lock the door? Yeah, <laughs> You'd think I'd know this. <laughs> oh, actually, I usually put my key under the flower pot next to the door, so maybe the key is nearby. I'm totally not going to intrude upon your house now. Oh, yeah. is there a flower pot around here? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I guess it's worth a shot. Oh, I hear music. This place really is dedicated to music. Wow, so we did get the key from the plant. Oh, the puzzles in Shinyan's Mirage seem way easier than Kazuma's. Well, his life experiences are far richer than mine. <laughs> you flatter me. This cactus was so large, it had a fucking trunk. I shit you not, this cactus had a fucking trunk. It was like at least 20 feet high in the air. It was taller than the house. It was ginormous. The spikes that were coming out of this thing were like a foot long. Some were only like three inches though. Don't ask me why I know, know that. But, but yeah, anyway. 
It was ginormous. This flower kind of... Heck yeah! I wasn't expecting visitors! Oh, you what up, bro? Ah! It talks! Pie my nose, but... This is different! How is it different? Hi! We touched those drum-like plants growing on the beach outside, and we're transported here. Uh, are you the owner of this place? This is the Hall of Music, and I'm merely its gatekeeper. Tell me, my friends, are you here to pursue the ultimate expression of music? Absolutely. Oh, you betcha. Then tell me, what do you hope to express with music? Joy, happiness, <laughs> The spirit of resistance. Emotion, right on, emotion, great answer. I'm so glad to hear that. Thing. I consider myself very lucky to meet another musician with the same ideals. Even giant flowers get along well with Xinyan. Mm -hmm. People who are easy to get along with Apparently make so. friends wherever they go. Hell yeah. Well, if you've made it this far, you must wish to venture deeper into the Hall of Music. However, I must apologize. My singing voice is required for entry, but unfortunately my pipes are a little dry. Are you all right? Do you need, uh, some you know, cold finance, medicine or something? Uh, no. It's just that I haven't had any glacial spring water in a very long time. If I could drink some of that, my voice would be rocked and loaded and ready to clear your path. Okay, uh, glacial spring water? Yeah, with one sip of that, anyone could sing the most beautiful song. No matter if they were a weary adult, a sleepy bird, or even an ignorant child. Wow. Oh. Okay, I'll find some for you. Where is this spring? Oh, thanks. You're the best. Well, spring water helps plants grow up strong so they can scale the mountains that lie in their way, so I imagine the spring can be found somewhere on the mountain range protected by plants. You mean we have to go hiking? Oh, oh Paimon thought some seawater would be enough. You can fly. Uh, spring water and seawater could not be more dissimilar. Exactly. Oh, but you may need my powers in order to see the spring. Give me your hand, friend, so that you can see through my eyes. Okay. Yeah, get there, Junior. You know. We got this. You're totally not gonna get eaten by a plant right now. Thanks! You shook my hand. Guess that makes this friendship official. Totally not gonna turn into some tentacle porn scheme here. No, no, no. Why would it turn into that? I wouldn't look forward to that at all. Whoa! We're out! Huh. Ooh! It's much brighter here. I, I didn't mind that- Glacial spring water can be found on one of the mountains around here. Let's all- Wait. How can there be light coming from below the ground here? Is this a water vein? Looks more like well, according to that flower, the water vein is related to the plants, and the plants will lead us to that spring. So I guess we should follow the water veins.
Everyone. I found a note here. From your dad? Too many words, not reading. Oh, so that's how it is. What an interesting island. If you want to read it, pause. Pause the video. Look at this style and signature! It's from Albedo! He's one of our friends from Mondstadt. Really? He's an oh, amazing yeah, alchemist who's visited this island before. He right. left this note here for future adventurers. Oh, so it's him. He's saying this whole island has been turned into an instrument? And the underground water veins play an important part, too. Oh, maybe we need to clear... Ah, uh, clean your instrument before the performance. Makes a lot of sense. Surprise! What a pleasant surprise! You could have, uh, in the original uh, Summertime Saga, you could um, 
change the water level of this. So, drink. if you Could drink you this, you, you can suddenly sing like an angel? You should give it a try, if you're curious. Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm terrible at singing. It would be, um, extremely oh, no. embedded. Oh, oh, Mona. I actually think you've got a sweet voice that's well suited for singing. If you're interested, I can teach you a few things about vocals once we get back to camp. Oh, really? I, I'd love to, but you'd have to promise you won't laugh at me. I don't understand anything about music, so you're up. Of course not. Everyone's got to start. Right. Mm -hmm. Then maybe I can give it a try. Great! <laughs> but before that, we should deliver the spring water to that flower. Okay. Well, to re-enter the mirage, we just need to touch the drum on the beach again. This is the glacial spring water you were looking for. Mm -hmm. Do I really have to do this myself? I can't just like move on with it. Ah, <sighs> I'm feeling a lot better now. Thank you very much. Now, I'll send you to your destination. I think we've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. But it's so dark here. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you hear that? I can hear a form of Asian flute. The reason the birds sing so sweetly it's because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Xinyan, we're not singers in this family. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, so I just need to go drink some of this spring water, and then I'll be able to sing? Oh, I'll be right back, Mama. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. You scared the bejesus out of me. Here, this is the spring water you were looking for. The bejesus. Don't <gasps> really? Don't the bejesus out of me. Oh, you're the best, Daddy. I'll shard you, you damn little child. I'll beat you more. Don't worry, your cousins are coming. You gotta choose one of them to take me <sighs> Where did she run off to this time? You got to find to somewhere she could sing, no family. doubt. <sighs> she can't be persuaded, and we can't st How was I supposed to know Damn she'd go running off looking for spring water? <sighs> Get down from there! You can't set up a stage here! If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut, not putting on a public performance. <sighs> Don't tear down the stage! Uh -huh. 
Shen Yan, my dear child, why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. Oh, Shen Yan, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. If you have to play, play something classy. Why are they being so mean? Oh, these people. <sighs> uh, that's it! Why are you not yelling back? What happened to your rock and roll sp <laughs> And now you're laughing? Aren't you mad? Why would she be mad? Sometimes it's hard to get mad when you hear the same thing a hundred times. <laughs> Still, thanks, Paimon. Uh, what? Auntie Jishong, how are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking soup, right? Oh, so you see, it's all burnt. Oh, how did this happen? Uh, yeah. Oh, my. Uncle Ju, little Ju is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Oh, well, we'll see Family. about that. How it's be. <laughs> oh, sorry, They're Uncle High. I'll move my stage someplace else. But your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Maybe you didn't know, yeah. but even the most famous opera singer in Leo likes listening to my boorish music. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, are you? <laughs> I'll have to look yeah. into this. It's it's family, you know? I mean, it, if it gets to the point that you gotta cut ties with family, it's gotta be over something real bad. It can't just oh, be over something They're scary. all gone. You only got one family, and that's how it is. See? Knowing the right words to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. <laughs> if that's the case, then what's your rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Fair enough. It's time we rock and roll is a revolution. Time. Transforming your identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. And most importantly, it lets you do it with art rather than words. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go that way. There's a side path right there. What a great mindset you have. If anyone ever called me anything less than a genius, I'd be furious. Really? Paimon is tempted to give it a shot. Bone is glaring at me. <laughs> Paimon, there's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and playing with fire. To tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest in rock and roll. Seriously? Well, this better not be a joke. No, I'm serious. Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a strong will in people is an incredible thing. Of music. Hey! Is that... Another door. More delightful individuals await us on the other side, I assume. I'm guessing it's a very uh, delightful individual. Let me handle it. Piece Although of cake! One named yes? Am I right? No. Miss, your hairstyle is really strange. <laughs> is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head, and you wear spiky things in it. 
Nobody else has hair like that. Okay, all right. Straight in. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. I love it. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, hey, little Faye likes stupid little puppies. <laughs> then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah, they do too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Ah, oh, bless, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? I put mine up in a ponytail, high bun, and it's like, it feels so weird because I never had hair like this before. Well, this hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. Yeah. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? Do they not like it too? We love it. Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and Little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. Oh, they're not ignoring you. Something must have happened. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. No. Oh, stay right here. I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. Okay, thanks, miss. I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. Why, thank you. See, now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. Excuse me, are you Little Mung? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? <laughs> he could have just come here and found us. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll go find him oh, instead. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I guarantee that's how people talk about me when I'm not. He ran off! Oh, we should catch so up to him. Dumb. Gosh. I just, I just feel bad sometimes. <laughs> If I could only get just a couple of brain cells, you know, I would, but... You do something like that, there's nothing you can do for us here. You know, it's kind of unfortunate, it's bad sometimes. But, you know, what's the word? Uh, excuse me, people. are you little Lulu? Are you looking for me, miss? Kinda. Didn't you promise to meet little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? 
Oh, that silly dum dum. Why didn't Why he just come to look dum for dum us? Dum we prepared a surprise dum. gift for him. A surprise gift? How strange. You dum dum, we were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. Oh, it's okay. Everyone's got a small. Brain. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. A surprise. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thank you. You could not be worse. And all's well that ends well. Because of how bad my handwriting is. It was all just a misunderstanding. My guidance counselor was like, alright, so we're looking at your stats and everything is terrible. But I have heard from every single one of your teachers. There's been a complaint from every single one of your teachers in your time at high school here. That your handwriting is... Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Get a doctorate, become a doctor, because your handwriting is that a hint is for us to prepare a surprise for you, too? Very clever. No! Well, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone? Paimon's hungry. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? Yep. I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Okay. Are you even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. Here we are. Maybe Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. Yeah. I would love to unwind with you. Huh? Uh, did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. May I come with you? I assume something will go wrong while you are searching around your own house. No, oh, the lights aren't even on. And there's no one... Whoa! Dun-dun-dun! Dun, dun, dun. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Okay. What are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? You scared the bajesus out of me! The bajesus. <laughs> you, Jin, you were totally right. She does get spooked. It's your birthday, so we planned a surprise party for you. <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls you. pranks on me I all the time, too. All right, all right, you win. 
<laughs> Beto needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are. A custom-made dagger and a score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I have these gold hairpins and iron hair ties custom-made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years' worth of experience to make hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar. So I thought you should jazz it up a bit. Well, I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't sure, remember was, anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. I can't tell. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. He, he's talking about, uh, uh, she's talking about our dog. Hmm, the, the that's certainly dog. peculiar. Uh, what was the quest name? Oh, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. <laughs> it's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One. Two. Three. <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is... Uh, oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Shinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of her friends who were throwing her a birthday party. Yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. Oh, I made a wish. It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Xinyan, what was your wish? 
my wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? Mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to clear the water veins that flow through the mountains. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. going a little too fast. Thank <laughs> you. 
What a pleasant surprise. are going a little too smoothly today. Better than nothing. Hey! Go as well! 
We can, but how do we deal with the last two mountains? 
Let's stick to it. There's gotta be- After taking a closer look, it seems to me that most of the island mountains contain water veins and plants in their interior. Those together form a system that connects the mountains with one another. That one guy's still running. However, now that much of the mountains have collapsed, the connection of plants and water veins is blocked. If we can dredge all the blockages, we'll be able to connect the islands to form the giant instrument described in Albania. Yep, for me to reach my goal, we gotta do this. But first, I'd like to consult the flower. It should know. Bruh. Just undo the blockages? Didn't I just fix that problem? Am I going to have to do that again? Some of the plants and water veins on the island mountains have been lost. Do you happen to know another way to dredge the blockages? Know What's up? I know someone who can help you with that. Go ask my companion, Frozen Soul, who lives upstairs. you to me uh, nice to meet you we were wondering if you could use your power to dredge the mountains on the island mountains oh I see you want to become great musicians too right Absolutely. oh is that what this is about correct in that case we seek the same thing Despite my frailty, I feel obligated to share some of my power. Plant my pedal at the ending point of the intersection of melodies. And what had once sunk into the earth will re-emerge with the music. As long as there is music, life will continue to flourish in this world. Correct. Oh, thank you! That was the only part I understood. I only understood, oh no, I only understood the last part of that. That's it. God, there's a waypoint up there. My goodness. Otherwise, I would not be super down with climbing. Okay, I saw to do the trick. Oh, there's a sound coming from the island. to this for so long. <laughs> Huh. 
Let's go! No! I hope the others find some. Surprise! Ha! 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 
We'll need more where that came from. Alright, let's finish this off. Let's finish this off. Yeah. Probably just a couple of combat sequences and then we're done. Yeah. That should be it, because now everything is uh, in lock, right? Oh, where's the chip? Can you feel anything now that we've planted the pedal? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can feel it. The sun is shining brightly. The sea gleams like a gemstone. The waves lap the milky white beaches. And the grains of sand are pulled into the sea, then pushed back ashore. The seabirds are landing on the rocks, pecking gently and making rhythmic sounds. Da dum, da dum, da dum. It's music. This is indeed music. In fact, this whole island is a giant musical instrument. Since you are a musician, you should be able to understand the meaning behind its original creation. Ah, <sighs> making music with the tides, waves, and sea breeze as your instruments is the most romantic thing in the world! Her. Let's go, everyone! It's time for my performance! Let's do this. I am anticipating your performance with glee. Kazuha, can you feel the wind? Which direction is it blowing in? <laughs> okay, that's the delay. Not bad. It's a lot of dialogue. Like, you really go in on the dialogue. <laughs> Finally, the time has come. Everyone, I once made a wish to perform with someone no one could have expected. And today, on this island, I found my answer. Tell you all, right? No one knows the name or appearance of the man who transformed this island into a giant musical instrument so many years ago. But he is unquestionably one of Devad's greatest musicians. I never imagined I'd be able to see such an instrument, and I never imagined we'd be able to play it during a high tide. No. Music is the gift one gives to their kindred spirit, so I'll play something that makes for a better duet with the original musician. No rock music for today. Instead, I'm gonna show you something new. Okay. I hope you liked this song. Oh, How was it? Not bad, huh? Great. Sure. <sighs> Quite impressive. Like me in bed. Sure. I've never heard a duet like that before. It was very interesting. But still good. It's okay. And so elegant as well. <sighs> Paimon's not sure how best to put it, but it was just super unique. And although, if I was, I would be proud of it. But I'm not. And so it feels weird getting asked if I'm Asian. <laughs> Thank you. It feels very weird to get asked. Are you Asian? And now I can say my wish has come true. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No. In fact, I reckon I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. I will. 
Does this mean everyone is free for the time being? If so, I have a suggestion. I'd like to return to the Fatui camp and see what's going on there. Oh, so you've discovered the Fatui camp as well. Wait, you know about it too? Of course, I'm a genius astrologist. Didn't I mention that my scry glass has recovered a little? I can sense what's going on here through divination. Uh, I didn't know the Fatui were here too. Indeed. I also informed Fischl of this when we parted ways today. If she runs into them, she'll stay hidden and out of danger. I see. Then perhaps we should tell everyone what we know. Yes. <laughs> A strange machine and delirious Fatui? Are you suggesting these are connected to the Mirage? I can't say I'm certain, but I don't believe they're completely unrelated. Fair enough. Let's go check out the camp. of the camp, and the machine is still here, but all the people have vanished. Oh, I give up. I'm just going to divine the answer. this? Some kind of energy flow? Oh, sorry, everyone. I can't seem to find any trace of the Fatui. My scry glass has gotten hazy again, but this time, I can sense some sort of energy converging and taking physical form. The destination is... the island over there. Whose mirage will it be this time? Hmm. Let's head over and have a look. Maybe we'll be able to find something there. I still have a lot to do with it. I think that was good. I think that was um, a good section of things to have been good in there. So, that's all we got for you today. If there is anything here, I hope you have a wonderful time. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. That is all I have for you guys today. So, we're going to call it. And, bye-bye.